Tina koto katoa. He kaito hu mato ranga aho. Ko Melissa Densler toko ingoa. Kia ora and welcome to this introduction to the refreshed PAT Pangaro PAT Mathematics Assessment. My name is Melissa Densler and I am an education advisor here at NZCER. This whakatoki really speaks to a key principle for our kaupapa. As we bring a range of information about our ākonga together, we develop a rich picture about their learning. PAT Pangaro are just one source of evidence of learning and provide a snapshot at a particular moment in time. To be properly interpreted, the results should be supplemented by other forms of information about the progress and achievement of each ākonga. This brief kōrero will cover a number of key aspects of the refreshed PAT Pangaro. We'll discuss the equity and inclusive focus of these assessments, explain the changes to the tests, ways to track and monitor groups of learners, and share the updated norms. PAT Pangaro are part of a suite of standardised assessments developed by NZCER specifically for learners in years 3 to 11. These assessments are research-based and have been carefully developed for use in Aotearoa New Zealand English medium contexts. Each assessment can be used at multiple year levels and achievement is reported on a common measurement scale. The PAT Pangaro PAT Mathematics Assessments are designed to support kaiako and tumuaki to understand where ākonga are in their learning at a specific point in time, identify what progress ākonga are making, identify patterns of strengths and areas of next steps for individuals and groups of learners, make informed decisions about the kinds of teaching methods, programs and materials that are most suitable for their learners, and to communicate with whānau and parents about their child's progress, strengths and next steps. NZCER is committed to improving equity in education by supporting and catering for those groups of ākonga who have been underserved by the education system. The refresh of PAT Pangaro was guided by a strong commitment to equity. An equitable education system recognises that some ākonga are advantaged compared with others and focuses on providing appropriate resourcing and pathways that allow those without the same advantages to succeed. It also recognises that they can succeed. Research has shown that equity-related factors play a major role in the mathematics achievement of ākonga in Aotearoa New Zealand. Assessment practices and differences in opportunities for learning have contributed to these inequitable outcomes. In late 2021, NZCER began a significant refresh of the PAT Pangaro assessments. As a result, the PAT Pangaro assessments are more culturally relevant, authentic and accessible. The refresh has involved updating the content of the nine core PAT mathematics assessments, assessments 1 to 8, and the development of a foundation assessment, 1A, for year 3. So what has changed? Each PAT Pangaro assessment has been refreshed in one or more of the following ways. Contexts have been updated so that a wider range of learners see themselves and their cultural and social worlds reflected in, in the assessments. Home and community settings have been prioritised over kura-based contexts. Where possible, principles and values such as mahitahi, kaitiakitanga and manakitanga are represented within items. Graphics have been updated so that images are more realistic and relatable. 
For example, people from a range of cultures are depicted and people with different body sizes and physical abilities are represented. Wording has also been simplified to ensure that language is not a barrier to accessing the mathematics. The PAT Pangaro target the big mathematical and statistical ideas that Akonga need to know and understand in order to make progress through the New Zealand curriculum and Te Mataiaho. Items are anchored in the content that underpins the curriculum learning area of mathematics and statistics. The six strands of Pangaro mathematics are within each assessment. From 2024, PAT Pangaro is only available using the refreshed version for both static, paper and online, and computer adaptive tests. Computer adaptive tests are available for years 4 to 10. Static paper and online tests are available for years 3 to 11. A new static paper and online test for year 3 called Test 1A has been developed, along with a new Test 8 that can be used at the end of Year 10 and start of Year 11. This table highlights the key features of adaptive and static assessments. Computer adaptive assessments are automatically tailored to Akonga achievement level as they proceed through the test. Computer adaptive assessments use selection rules to select items from a pool of items that are estimated to be around the achievement level of Akonga. This estimate becomes more precise as Akonga respond to more items. Computer adaptive tests have a range of question types such as multiple choice, drag and drop and sorting questions. Questions cannot be changed once Akonga have pressed next. Static assessments are available online and on paper format. These tests are all multiple choice and cover a band of at least two to three years of learning across the strands of mathematical concepts. Kayako can select to differentiate assessments to ensure that Akonga are sitting an appropriate test to demonstrate their achievement level. Akonga can omit a question and come back to it later, as well as change their answers. Both computer adaptive and static assessments are measured and reported on the same scale. Timing. Akonga are expected to work independently and have 45 minutes to complete the questions. The whole assessment, including administration, will take about 60 minutes to complete. Kayok will need to monitor the timing. Reading the assessments to Akonga. Kayok are welcome to read questions to any Akonga having difficulty during the assessment. However, avoid explaining what the questions mean. If any Akonga have a great deal of difficulty understanding the instructions or questions, the assessment may not be suitable for them. Audio support is available for tests 1A, 1 and 2. The play button will read the question to Akonga. We are continuing to invest in accessibility support, including audio, and are finalising our plans for 2024. Updated norms. For tests administered from the start of 2024, the NZCER Assist platform will base the reporting of scale scores and stay nines on the new question calibrations and reference information. The NZCER team analysed the question bank for the PAT Pangaro assessment and recalibrated the bank of questions that is used across the tests. This is a key process to ensure the reported scores reflect the most recent information about how Akonga respond to questions. A nationally representative sample frame approach was used to gather the data to update the PAT Pangaro norms. 
the data was based on thousands of data points in assist. In the recalibration, NZCER found that any changes to the location of items in the scale had little impact on students' scale scores. This means that the scale scores will be directly comparable across the old and refreshed PAT Pangaro scales. So if you've used the old, then the refreshed assessments, you can compare 2023 with 2024 to consider progress and achievement of Akonga. The Year 3 and End of Year 10 Start of Year 11 norms are not available at this point. They will be developed in 2024 as data is collected at these specific year levels. Progress over time. We can consider progress for Akonga using scale scores. The table above indicates the average of one year's progress using the difference between two points, in this case, between year levels. A key point to remember is, for an individual akonga, the impact of any scale changes on their scale score will almost always be within error. And so you can still reliably track their progress across time using scale scores as long as the margin of error is taken into account. We will update the progress data information sheet and have this available online. Within NZCER Assist, schools are able to track and monitor groups of Akonga. Schools can create a group within classes and add Akonga to this new class or group. Classes and groups are then treated in the same way on Assist. Akonga can be in multiple classes and this won't impact on school-wide reporting. Just remember, Akonga should only sit one assessment in a term. Kayako are able to preview the test prior to Akonga sitting the assessment. This means there will be no surprises, they know the content and have considered if the assessment is right for these Akonga. The preview icon can be found on the Actions dashboard. NZCER Assist has a wide range of reports available at class and school-wide level. At class level, there are reports available for individual students, there are item reports, individual item reports, list reports and stay nine reports. And at school-wide level, there are aggregated, progress over time and learner progress reports. The PAT Pangaro PAT Mathematics Kaiako Guide is available on the NZCER website. This guide has comprehensive information for Kayako and Tumuaki. Thank you for taking the time to familiarise yourself with PAT Pangaro. We hope this has been useful. Our education advisors offer a range of advisory support. If you would like more information about the support we can offer, please contact education.advisor at nzcer.org.nz. Kia pai tōra.